so i'm scared because i'm international student here i'm hiding from my family my mother in law told me is normal every boy every man is abusing his wife because i'm alone here i don't know what is wrong what is right for me so i'm just doing the daily carpool to go and get mon um myself my sister and um our social worker kind of take turns doing the daily pick up and drop off because a lot of the women are not from WA or Australia and so they need someone to get them to and from work and it's also nice and discreet for those that don't want to have their cars parked out the front they can do the same thing so yeah we're on our way to pick up mum we are a national gift delivery service that is staffed by women who have faced homelessness because of domestic and family violence. These are room spray. Perfect. Socks. Two chocolates. Uh, this is a bath clay. Sticker, metal sticker. Then write it A M A Z Z I N G. XX. XX means? Kiss kiss. Oh, kiss kiss. My box is ready. I'm super star. Some days I'm making candles, which is what the women do, all the products, but then sometimes there's not enough hands, so my hands have to get involved out here. But my days can be from making a sale, a big corporate sale, or buying the stock and then just managing everyone. But mostly my favourite part is working with the women out here, having that nice time with them to learn about them and learn about what they want from us here, what I can teach them outside of making a gift box. The women that we've worked with are between 16 years of age and 54. We've had women who have slept in their car with their children, multiple children, four months at a time. We've had women who have found a toilet block or a shower block on the coast in Western Australia. They would go and find a cubicle and hope that someone from one of the cities would lock it on the outside so that no one could come in. This isn't to say that there's not incredible people on the front line driving for change, but I get scared that if we are silent and if we don't take it home and if we don't let it consume us, who is speaking for these women when they can't? So it starts off as a six month program, but so many things have come up for Mon that stop her from being able to establish any financial security. So we've kept her with us for about a year. Monica came in and told me she had worked for three weeks at a certain burger shop. And she hadn't been paid, hadn't been paid. And I called the guy and I said, hello burger shop man, I am Monica's advocate and I want to know why she hasn't been paid. And if the money is not in there by the end of next pay run, I will take this further. And next day, $350 in her bank account. When I came here, I'm looks my I love my hair. But my ex-husband, he didn't like long hair. So then after marriage, for keep happy, he happy. So cut my hair, but now it's still here, it's okay. The abuse started in a kind of coercive control and she wasn't allowed to leave the house except for studying. That coercive control escalated into very serious physical abuse. Before he slept and twisted my arm and like um, choking, he punched me left arm, my eyes very reddish, my bones, broken here, still is 
treatment my last time so i'm weeping if i now leave him so next time another girls another girls same situation so then i decided i come here i will fight front to front face to face Re, the beautiful Moni, she's having a bit of a rough time at the moment and it's pretty heartbreaking. Basically, X posted a picture on Facebook with him holding the court documents and saying, I won the case. She was like, why am I doing all these things? Why am I going behaving? to every appointment I'm meant to, to try and... When I get punished. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got a fine and is bragging about it on Facebook. No, everyone is a uh, married life is good best. Unfortunately, miss happening. That's my luck. But I, but I couldn't accept luck. I'm a hard worker, so I can do everything. I change everything. Doesn't matter. She's got three weeks left of her childcare placement, and then by the 12th of June, she should be graduated and have a childcare certificate. We'd be holding the women back if we kept them here forever. And whilst a lot of them do get comfortable and we fall in love with them, we know that they're destined for bigger and better things. Because like me, a lot of girls here, domestic violence. So she will give more opportunity in other girls. But is that okay in front of your eyes like that? Yeah. Yeah. Sitting so, nicely. Mm -hmm. I'll just clip it into place. This time of Little bit happy, little bit equal. <laughs> Mix emotion. <laughs> but I know I, I have believe by self and God, so I can do everything. Slowly by slowly, no? You started off like tiny little mouse and to see you turn into this amazing lioness as you call yourself to watch you discover what Alicia and I have seen in you from day one now that you see it in yourself I think you've got limitless opportunities so congratulations and thank you for coming into our life and this is your graduation certificate until we can have your big party <laughs> congratulations Didi so proud of you, Mum. Really, really proud of you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, I don't have any word, but um, I'm proud of women's. Women's is very powerful, amazing. Women's, I can do everything. I proved everything here. So I appreciate by heart. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a postman now. <laughs>